Hi guys, it's Legionero. Welcome back to my channel. And I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and also everyone who keeps coming back um, each time I post a new video. It's me again in my favorite hoodie. <laughs> I'm a little chilly, so this is close by always. Um, I have some more that I made. I probably need to switch them out. <laughs> Anyway, today I'm going to make the Everyday Backpack by Bagstock Patterns. Um, I scoured YouTube <laughs> looking for um, a tutorial on this bag or even a sew along or something like that and I couldn't find one. So before I decided to do this video, I reached out to the pattern designer just to make sure it was okay. Um, I'm not going to do a tutorial on the um, pattern because like I said I said in the earlier video I gotta concentrate while doing this but I do want to do like a kind of a uh, watch me sew type thing with it um, and I wanted to reach out to the pattern designer because I didn't want to overstep and I didn't, or I didn't want to you know do something that um, I didn't have permission doing um, I will say that I love this pattern I've made it several different times. If I can find all of the pictures, I will pop them on the screen so you can see them of the different versions that I've made of this bag. Um, mostly team fabric and also um, Marvel fabric I've made out of the backpack. Um, this particular one is out of Braves fabric. It is for my cousin. Um, but I love this pattern. I absolutely love this pattern. Um, first time I made it, I was so proud of myself <laughs> because I hadn't, I hadn't made a bag, um, that was that detailed before, you know, I made clutch bags, tote bags, things like that, but nothing, um, uh, with this type of detail. And I think this was the first bag I made a bottom to a bag. Usually I just do gussets, um, but this has a bottom. And I think this was the first time that I did a bottom um in a bag so yeah love it <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna get started on this bag
Bye.
all right guys that is it um that is the backpack i will um get into this backpack in just a second um so i didn't of course record every single step of me um, recording or making this backpack because the lining is red so i sold the lining on my brother machine and then i sold everything else on my industrial machine i um, mean i don't want to move the camera back and forth it was a lot it's a lot and <laughs> like i said i have to concentrate when i make this bag although i remembered a lot of it um i just needed to look at the pattern for um, measurements and different things like that for the zipper pockets and um different things like that um how to do the strap how to attach the strap to the bag and everything um but yeah my memory kind of stayed with me with this bag I, I guess it should have i made it a lot of times <laughs> um but I do, the instructions are impeccable. I do like bag stock patterns. Um, I've made a few of their ba um, bags. I can't remember which other ones I made, but I've made a few. Um, and I love, love, love their instructions. I'm a video person. So of course, the first time I made this, I went searching for YouTube, looking for a video and could not find one. So I had to read the instructions um, and I was scared. <laughs> because I, I don't know I have sewing books and I open up those sewing books and I just I <laughs> I love a video um I guess that's why I like doing videos so much on the channel um because I know I like videos but anyway their pattern instructions are impeccable I love their pattern instructions very detailed um photos are really good um yeah just great work for bag stock patterns uh, i will link this pattern in the description box below i have their everyday i think it's everyday tote bag i think that one's one of their real popular ones um it's a really cute one i i have it i cut it out years ago <laughs> um no idea where it is um where the cutout pieces is the pattern i can just print out but um yeah that's one that everybody made that i think is a really cute um um bag pattern and that one has a ton of videos um there are some other ones that have a ton of videos on youtube um, but for some reason i just could not find a video on this one um so that's why that's what prompted me to reach out to the um, bag designer and make sure it was okay for me to um do this pattern um and record it but i also like I said, I didn't do a, um, you know, a full step by step of making it. I just showed you some parts of it, um, making the bag. Um, but here it is. <laughs> Atlanta Braves. Um, I think what draw me to this pattern um, was because it was so unique in the way that it was made. Um, right. Um, now I do prefer myself a zipper, um, in any bag that I make and I'm thinking about making my own pattern and, you know, making sure it has a zipper and all that good stuff on it and probably not a flap. I'm not a real, I'm a person, <laughs> I'm, I'm weird for some reason having to do this <laughs> in my bags bothers me. <laughs> That's probably why I don't make, um, messenger bags for myself. Because, like, the whole flipping back and forth, that will bother me. Um, but I do, do love this bag. Um, I think the pattern also has an option of, um, you can put, like, some strips here. Um, depending on the fabric you use, you can put, like, some faux leather or leather or cork strips on the um, flap <laughs> to kind of break up the um, design. Um, but of course I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make sure that, you know, the braves and the A, you would be able to see that it has a magnetic snap closure. Um, the inside, it has a slip pocket. It also has a zipper pocket here on the inside. And it also has a zipper pocket on the back of the backpack. Um, 
when I go to Dragon Con, I use my um, the Avenger the Avengers the Avengers one or either the Black Panther one. I carry that one with me, and I love it because it has this zipper here. So, you know, this could easily be flipped up by somebody while I'm walking. But if I put my wallet and money here in the zipper part, no one can get it because it's against my back. Um, and then I would just put like miscellaneous stuff on the inside. Um, not to say people don't, but Dragon Con is one of the most peaceful places I have been for it to be so many people. Like no drama at all. Um, prior to 2020, um, there were 80, like 88,000 people coming <laughs> from all over to come to Dragon Con and just a good time. Anyway, <laughs> um, it has a bottom panel here. Um, I don't make a lot of these, but I, I do want to start doing bottom panels in my bags that I'm making. Um, during the time in December when I'm off, um, I'm going to definitely practice more on bag making. So you'll see more bag videos here on the channel um, and just practice, you know, more in-depth techniques. Um, th this is not difficult um, to do, you know, as long as you sew it right, you do the measurements right, it fits right in. Um, but yeah, I do want to enhance my bag making skills during my time off. I want to really take advantage of that. Um, so you'll see more bag making on the channel come December. Um, still haven't decided whether I'm doing Vlogmas or 12 Days of Christmas. I'm leaning more towards Vlogmas. It's just a matter of trying to find 24 days of content. <laughs> anyway, um, the bag has um, an adjustable strap. You have, I was like, where is it? You have your strap slider here. Uh, where you can make adjustments to the strap All right um yep your d-ring here yeah i like it i like it because of the you know the unique shape and everything of the bag um, but like i say myself i prefer a zipper closure um on a bag but anywho um very unique design great pattern instructions are impeccable and and i can say that because i have read the instructions from start to finish um <laughs> because i had to <laughs> to um, make this bag and i hope you enjoyed watching um, the parts of the bag that i made in the video um if you have any questions um please drop them in the comments and i will answer them to the best of my ability so question of the day, have you ever been professionally photographed? Yes, I have. Um, I think we all have at a, one point in our lives, school pictures. <laughs> um, it's so funny. I remember in high school when someone used to come and take pictures and me and my friends used to get together and we'd, um, we'd take pictures. Of course, I can't find any of those pictures now. <laughs> I wish I had one because when I had hair and you, I don't know if you all remember this. I might be dating myself, but there was a hairstyle where you got finger waves in the front, finger waves in the back, and it was going up like this kind of curly. Cur a whole mess. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then you have um, when I was younger. Someone would come. We have a grocery store called IGA in my hometown. Someone used to come a couple times a year, take photographs. Um, I have one of me and my nephew. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I'm eight years older than my nephew. So, of course, when he was little tight, I was eight, nine years old. And he, we taking pictures together. Um, other times, there's a place in the mall. I don't know if it's still in the mall here where they do your photos in an hour. And those are some of the best pictures that I have ever taken. I just, I might one day do a video. If I can find some of the photos that I'm talking about, <laughs> I might do a video and just show y'all, do like a memory lane type video of me and pictures. Um, but yeah, they do your photos in an hour. You go in, you take the photos, 
Um, you give them about 30 minutes. You come back to see the proofs. You tell them which ones you want to print it and then come back in another 30 minutes and the prints are done. Beautiful photographs. Beautiful. Um, but again, I don't know if that's still in the mall here. I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> um, then you had, uh, what was it, Glamour Shots? I don't, I've never done a Glamour Shot. Um, there were some other places I can't think of. And of course, this fact that girl <laughs> did a photo shoot um, um i did one in that dress um, those i do actually have pictures of um i did the green dress of course um i did some in a blue jumpsuit and <laughs> i'm kind of upset because the blue jumpsuit one i did them we went inside to take the ones of the blue jumpsuit and for some reason i had lip gloss kind of like just just like a ton of lip glob of gloss but i don't know what happened my friend who was helping me she didn't catch it so <laughs> i don't care too much for um the blue jumpsuit pictures i'm it, i'll find them and pop them up on the screen for you and then i have also had on a blue dress um I kind of like those, but she put she did a green screen on those and put me like in a beach type setting thing. I would hindsight is always twenty twenty. I would have rather been outside like I did with the green dress with all of the other outfits. And then the last part of the session was nude. Can't show those. Those will not see the light of day. Um, <laughs> um, although they are beautiful, if I say so, I must say so myself. <laughs> they are amazing shots and i she did it in a way where you could you really can't see anything um it's kind of dark in the background like i really she was very professional um i actually have a print that size um i was trying to get my dad to put it up on the wall he won't put it up on the wall. <laughs> but you can't see i'm you know i'm posed in a way where you can't the one that i printed I'm posed in a way that you can't see anything. So I'll save that for my husband. You know, have him put it up in his man cave. Wherever he is. Anyway, um, but yeah. Um, so did the three looks and then did the nude part of it. Again, very professional. Love the shots. Um, and I want to do another one at some point. But I want to do it in me made um, outfits. Oh, Atlanta Sewing Style, the group that I'm in here in Atlanta, um, we've done professional photo shoots. Um, yeah, so we, we take photos in the clothes that we made. Um, I should be able to find those, maybe, <laughs> and pop them up on the screen. Um, but yeah, that's another professional photo shoot that I have done. But anyway, let me know in the comments, um, have you ever been photographed professionally? And um, let me know, you know, if you like that kind of thing. Um, do you think they charge too much? Do you, <laughs> uh, do you rather, you know, grab your tripod or whatever it is you use to take your pictures or have someone else take your pictures? I always feel, you know, I love my nieces and nephews with everything in me. They are horrible photo takers. When I was, you know, blogging heavily and I used to try to get them to take my photos. They're like, uh-huh. Eh, eh, eh. I'm like, really? Could you tell me that my shirt is wrinkled? Could you tell me that I'm looking crazy? Like, nothing. they like, nope, you called me over here to take photos and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> my mom says my dad and my brother are the same way. Um, so she she wants to take photos and her stuff that she makes at home and they just they're horrible picture takers and my mom has this huge yard front and back beautiful just greenery and scenery and everything could take some beautiful photos there anyway i'm rambling now um, <laughs> um if you again if you have any questions about the bag just let me know in the comments i will answer them to the best of my ability um, again, I will link the pattern in the description box below. I think the pattern is like six nine. Don't quote me. I think it's six ninety five for the pattern, but yeah, it's not expensive at all. Um, 
And I think it's a great make if you're into bag making. All right. So I will see you guys in the next video.